All right, now here's example two with logarithmic differentiation. So uh, example two, y equals x to the sine of x. Now we want to find y primed. So again, just find the derivative. Um, so this is a little bit like example one, where in example one we had sine of x raised to the x, but now we have it kind of the other way around, x to the sine of x. So um, you know the functions are pretty similar. I guess they have pretty different properties, but when you write them down, they kind of look the same almost. Uh, but their derivatives are going to look pretty different, as we'll see shortly. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so we have y equals uh, x to the sine of x. The first step is just take the natural log of both sides. Okay, So natural log of y equals natural log of x to the sine of x. And then the second step is always uh, use the uh, power rule, that pre-calculus power rule for logs that says you can take out the exponent and write it as a factor. So natural log of y equals sine of x times natural log of x. Okay. Now we take a derivative of both sides. Okay. So um, I should probably leave myself some more room here. So we take a derivative of both sides. So ddx of the left equals ddx of the right. Okay. Now again, um, natural log of y, we're taking a derivative with respect to x. So um, we treat it implicitly, even though we know what y is, um, we're going to treat it like it's, a, like it's an implicit function for now. But probably a better way to think about it is we're just going to use the chain rule. Okay, we're just using the chain rule, that's all. Um, so chain rule says derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay? And then on the right, we just have a standard product rule. Um, so first is sine of x, second is natural log of x. So derivative of that product is going to be derivative of the first times the second plus, uh, plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay, so that's not too bad because there's really not a whole lot we can do to simplify that. Um, yeah, actually not much at all. So now uh, we can just multiply both sides by y and we'll say y primed equals uh, cosine x times natural log of x plus, let's just say, sine of x over x. Sine of x over x. And then this whole thing is multiplied by uh, y. Okay, So we just multiplied both sides by y, and then we ended up with this. But again, um, we're not done. So the last step is to go back to the beginning and say, oh, OK, y equals this function of x. So let's take this function of x and put it into here. Okay, So this is going to be uh, x to the sine of x instead of y. So that's what we have. Let's leave that down, and then we'll just write it again over here. Uh, y primed equals cosine of x times natural log of x plus sine of x over x. All of that times x to the sine of x. OK? So this is our derivative here. Um, and again, the, remember the very last step is to, uh, you're going to end up with this y in here. Then you go back to the beginning and say, OK, I know what y is in terms of x. It's this function here. So I'm going to take that function and put it back into the answer. Because your answer should only have x in it, okay, um, and functions of x, but it should not have any y. Okay, there should uh, be no y's in there, because you know what y is in terms of x. So that's very important to keep in mind with uh, logarithmic differentiation, and that's example two. Um, I just want to point out real quick, we could distribute the x to the sine x through to here, um, and then what we'll end up with is y primed equals x to the sine x times cosine x times natural log of x, and then plus um, what we would really have is sine of x over x times x to the sine of x. So um, this fraction would actually go away, and we'd end up with x to the sine x minus 1 times sine of x. Okay, And if you're wondering where that comes from, it's because of what we have over here is sine of x over x times x to the sine of x. So sine of x over x times x to the sine of x. By the way, if you're still watching and you only care about the uh, logarithmic differentiation part, uh, that's pretty much done. Uh, you can go to the next video if you want. But for now, I'm just showing the details of what goes on here uh, for those who are curious. So anyway, when you divide by x, that's the same thing as, you know, that's x to the first, right? And that's the same thing as saying uh, sine of x times x to the negative 1. Okay, and then we have x to the sine of x here. And um, 
remember, when you have the same base here, your exponents are going to add. So that's uh, sine of x times neg uh, x to the negative 1 times x to the sine of x. So the exponents add, and you get negative 1 plus sine of x. Or, in other words, sine of x minus 1. Okay, that's one way to think about it. Um, or you could just say x to the sine of x over x. Um, you're dividing same base. So that's the same thing as saying sine of x times x to the sine of x over x to the first. So when you divide and you have the same base here, your exponents are going to subtract. So that's where that sine of x minus 1 comes from. Um, just a side note in case anybody was wondering about that. But, you know, for, for most of the time, um, it's okay to leave your answer like this. And anyways, that's example two.